Sarmed has a question. How can I cre create group calendars in Office 365 or Exchange Online? I need that the members being updates automatically. I tried to create a Dynamics group, but when I added the group to my calendar with all a dynamic group uh, to my group calendar with all members, then it showed me only one calendar and not all uh, group member calendars. I tried to do it via PowerShell without luck. Any ideas? This is Exchange Online. Uh, for me, this is a SharePoint or a Teams calendar. If if they're trying to control the audience, it's kind of broken. I'm thinking it was translated, so it's a little hard to understand what they're trying to accomplish. But um, I don't like the group calendars because they don't show up the same way. Personally, I prefer the one that's hosted in a SharePoint site. But yeah. So that's exactly what they're trying to do because they're saying they're trying to create a dynamic distribution group that um, <laughs> dynamic security or distribution because that's the only dynamic type groups that there are out there, right? Uh, and added to the group calendar is one calendar, which would make sense with how those are because they're based off queries. Uh, so yeah, I'm, Sherry, I'm with you on this. I'm with you. Um, I feel like they need to rethink about what their requirements are and their end goal to come up with a better solution than what they're trying to do. I mean, I, I mean, I, my, my thought here is just like, you know, if they go create the, this group calendar and share that out and then people go in and turn that on and enable that. So they see it within their calendar. That's the best that you're going to get. Yeah. 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 I mean, right now, I mean, there are some development things you can do, right? But that's not out of the box. It's not easy and there's maintenance to it, right? So if you're looking for easy and out of the box, that's what you get. Well, and best kept secret, if you go back to classic view and go to the ribbon, you can nope. connect the calendar into your Outlook desktop. Nope. <laughs> no. Will you yes. stop saying she loves to say we can revert back to classic right now, but not tomorrow. No, no but once yeah. the connections there, the connection's there. <laughs> and it's not available in SharePoint Modern, but you can connect that calendar in and, and then it shows up in your Outlook. So you can hide and show it. You can add events to it. It's synchronized. So are you saying are you suggesting people get in there and do it while they can before we go all modern? Yeah. Or they yeah. take away my favorite link, but I have stored those URLs that allow me to revert it back to other views in a notebook, so I can always put that in the site address and get back to where I want to be. Well, you got to think, even though, so just like you know, Sherry's mentioning here with the whole calendar thing, even though like calendars and now modern events, right? And you can only have the events web part doesn't show a 30 day calendar view on the modern page behind the scenes that same view is still available yeah right yeah. so you create a quick link that says you know 30-day view of your calendar or whatever it is they can't really do away with that unless there's another way to in you know see into that because you know what they have right now is not fully functional for what people need so that's going to be there until they can replace it with something that is viable yeah that and the calendar overlays I'm I'm digging my feet in. People need those. They want to be able to combine oh, yeah. calendars. I love that feature. Yep. Yes. It's like, They're why did they take away. that away in modern? Come on. This yeah. is something yeah. everybody asks yeah. for. I, I believe I wrote about that in a couple of my chapters in my one SharePoint book uh, back with the 2010 did. version. So <laughs> it's a yeah. popular feature. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't see it going away. I see them make modernizing it but i never see that feature going away so it's going to be there until they modernize it period right it doesn't work now it, though it doesn't yeah, work now they have, yeah they have to give it a facelift because it doesn't look modern you can totally tell when you go to it looks classic right so we know it's going to get a facelift at some point um and they'll probably add some additional features otherwise why right um but yeah i mean Back in the old days, you could create a public that. folder calendar and any, an exchange itself. Yep. Yep. TV, <laughs> right? Stacy, oh. did you did you bleep your own self out there? But the, 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 I did, yes. Uh, <laughs> and from the looks of it, you still can, but yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't, and you can't, right? I mean, it just depends. Yeah. So me and me and how we're connected on this exchange stuff. Yeah, just because you can I, doesn't mean you should, right? Kind of like I just like the, 
I like the language that we use, talking about the classic and then the modern needing a facelift to get to the modern. So what we need is like the Botox injection version <laughs> of these features <laughs> to give us what we need now. Yes. Yeah. We need, Please. We need our injector serum. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> A little bit of that, uh, yeah, just a, a little bit of that SharePoint Botox. Give it to there me. You go. There you go. <laughs> I, I see a new sticker coming, Christian. <laughs> <laughs>